Do you remember this robot dog that I showed you a few months back in this channel? Well, I do have an amazing update regarding this little guy. I think it would be better to show you than tell you. Sit. Stand. Check. Sniff. Yes, that's right. Beetle can now listen and act according to your voice commands. How cool is that? Well, voice control is not the only addition to this robot right now. We have some more cool news. Let's take a deep dive and see what's new with the newer version of Pito's robot dog, Beetle X. By the way, you can check it out with the link in the description and the good thing is, with that link, you will get a good discount. For those of you who don't know what Beetle is, Beetle is a four-legged robotic dog that is specially designed for you who are really interested in electronics as well as DIY robotics. The best part is, you can build it, customize it, and add additional components and actions using various platforms like Beetle, Beetle, Phone App, Arduino, Python, and so much more. Yes guys, it's designed to work with everything. And the best part is, he is affordable. I mean, we have all dreamed of owning our own Boston Dynamics port, right? Now, you have an affordable and scaled down version of the same. In one of the previous videos, I showed you what are the different parts of Beetle, how to assemble it, connect it to your mobile phone, as well as programming it with Arduino. In that video, we were using Pito Beetle Robotics Kit that costs around $329. Now, the company has released a newer version of Beetle called Beetle X that starts with US dollar 279 only. So you might be thinking what is the difference between them? Well, the first and foremost thing about the new version of Beetle, it is powered by a new version of motherboard called BI board which has its own inbuilt audio module with 35 predefined voice commands. Now you can control your Beetle robot with just voice commands. Let's try some of them. Sit. Stand. Check. Sniff. Hello. Walk. Crow. Boxing. Kick. That was pretty cool, right? You can even change the language from Chinese to English and English to Chinese using special voice commands. But wait a minute, what if I want to add my own voice commands and control my robot accordingly? Well, yes, definitely we can do that as well. This voice module can record and recognize up to 10 custom voice commands and program the robot in such a way that each custom command corresponds to one custom action. Another question that you might be having would be, will this voice recognition module recognize what we are saying properly? From my experience, yes they do when compared to other Arduino compatible voice recognition modules. This one works really really good. Now. Earlier I told you that in the previous two versions of this robot, we were using a motherboard called NYBoot, which is basically another version of Arduino Uno and is compatible with a lot of modules that works with Arduino Boot. As you can see here, this is the board that we have been working on in the previous videos with the previous version of this robot. Now, with this new version of robot, the Beetle X, we have another much more advanced board called BI board, which is another much more powerful board when compared to the previous one. This board has multiple sensors which are integrated into the circuit, including the built-in audio controller module which we mentioned earlier. Another really cool feature about this board when compared to the previous board is, this board uses USB Type-C connector for serial communication as well as firmware updation. This board also have a 2x3 socket to connect to Raspberry Pi into it and perform more complex actions with bit. Also, this board has a capacity to drive 12 servo motors at the same time without any issue. This board is definitely a huge improvement when compared to the previous board that we were using with the previous version. 
Now, speaking about the servo motor, earlier we mentioned that we were using servo motors to connect different parts of its limbs and the head for proper movement, right? In the previous version of Beetle, we were using metal servo motors, but in the new version, we are using plastic servo motors. This definitely helps us to reduce the weight of the robot to a great extent. As you know, sensors are an important part for a robot. So, other than the audio sensor that I have mentioned earlier, we have a few more that we could use to our advantage. In this board, there is an inertial measurement unit that constantly calculates the orientation and acceleration of the whole unit. This is the sensor that helps the robot to balance itself with its legs while operating. We also have an infrared receiver built in with this board which will allow us to control Beetle with an infrared remote controller that comes along with the package. Also, if we are programming it manually, we can use the sensor for other applications as well. Beetle is made with a clip-like head that can hold extensible modules. With some well-known modules, they put together a sensor pack. The sensor pack includes this touch sensor which can detect touch and then we have this PAR sensor which can detect motion and then we have this sensor with LDS which can detect light and then we have this gesture sensor which will help the beetle to understand gestures. One of the advanced features that make beetle so unique is its intelligent camera module for object tracking. This allows the robot to detect and track objects in its environment. So, now let's take a look at how these sensors perform. So, we have this robot right now. So the next question would be, how can we control this robot? Well, there are numerous ways by which we can control him. One way is to control the robot using the infrared remote controller. This is the remote controller that comes along with the package. With this remote controller, you can control your robot from the line of sight distance. Another thing that I noticed with this new version of this robot is the position of the infrared receiving sensor. The position has changed from the back to the side of the neck. This is definitely a good thing because the sensor now have a better visibility. So, the chance of receiving an IR signal from the remote controller is high when compared to the previous version. Another way we can control the robot is using mobile application. There is a mobile application which you can download from secure sources. Once you have downloaded and installed it in your mobile phone, you can easily pair it with your Beetle and control the whole robot using mobile phone itself. And also, another huge improvement that I noticed with this new version is the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi modem are both inbuilt with this motherboard. So, we don't have to connect to it externally to the motherboard like we did with the previous version. We can even perform calibration to the servo motors and set the offset position using the mobile phone application itself. Now, if you know about serial communication, you can also communicate and control the robot using Arduino or Python by sending serial commands via USB. As I mentioned earlier, we can program it at different levels using different programming languages and softwares. If you are a beginner, you can use tools like Ptoid Coding Blocks which is an easy to use graphical drag and drop programmer with all new Peter robots which of course support wired and wireless connections. Oh, you could use softwares like Peter Desktop App or Tinkers and Codecraft to play with it. If you are a bit more advanced and know Arduino or Python programming, you could start working on the Beetle robot using Arduino IDE, Python and Raspberry Pi. While programming at this level, you will have a little bit more freedom to modify various attributes regarding the working of the robot. For example, you can customize and modify the gates of your robot to walk on different types of terrain. But don't worry if you are getting started with Arduino. Pito has a free robotics curriculum that helps you get familiar with four-legged robots from scratch. 
If you are an expert in coding or if you are doing some research, you could work on various machine learning platforms to create algorithms for motion planning. So, if you want to get one for yourself, you can simply click on the link below in the description and it will take you to the main product page. And the good thing is, you will get a discount when you purchase it using the link below. So, don't miss this opportunity.